going to be the first linked list problem we've tackled on this channel. If you don't know what linked lists are, or if you want to get a better idea, make sure to click this card above me. It's a quick explanation and it covers the basics of linked lists and how they work. Remove the kth node from the end of a linked list. You are given head, which points to the first node of a linked list. You are also given k. Remove the kth node from the end of the linked list and return head. So as we can see, this is our input and this is our output. Now let's have a look at the explanation. Say k is three and this right here is our linked list. Rem remember, we've got to remove the kth node from the end of the linked list, meaning the third node from the end is one, two, three, seven. Once we delete seven, our linked list will be this right here. Now it's not an overly complicated problem description. I'll leave the screen open and you guys can head on to the coding link down below and try to solve it for yourselves. Now, instead of saying anything, I'm going to let a few animations play on the screen. That's the method we're going to use to solve the problem. Just have a look and see if you can glean anything from these. After it's done, we're going to start the solution bit. Guys, I hope that little animation helped you. If it did, leave your comments down below. And if it didn't, tell me what I could have done to improve it. Now, how we're going to be solving this is by initially staggering two pointers. They're going to have one pointer pointing at the beginning. And the next pointer is going to be k steps away from the first pointer. As we can see on our screen here, since k is three, our first pointer will be pointing to one and the next will be three steps away. Hence, it will be at seven. Now we're going to move them together until the last pointer reaches the last element. So first we move them together up one step. So the first pointer goes to three, and the second pointer goes to nine. When we move it again, the first pointer goes to five and the second goes to 11, which is the last element. Now, what does this mean? This means that once our second pointer has reached the very last element, our first pointer is going to be at K plus one elements from the end. The element just after our first pointer is the element we have to delete. Now it's pretty straightforward. All we've got to do is ensure that first doesn't point to the next element. Instead, it points to the element after that, effectively deleting the kth node from the end. Let's have a look at the code for this. This here is the new code. We have a first and a second, both initially pointing to head. And we make sure that second is k steps away from first. Now, once that's done, there are two special cases we've got to account for. One special case is if there's only one element in the array. In that case, we've got to return an empty array, which is why our head becomes none. The second special case is if k is equal to the length of the list. In that case, what happens is the first element gets deleted. So head is no longer pointing to the first element. It's now pointing to the second element, which is why head is head dot next. Finally, we simply return head. Barring these special cases, all we've got to do is move our pointers up together until second reaches the last element. In other words, second dot next is none. The moment that happens, we ensure that first doesn't point to the next element. Instead, it points to the element after that, effectively deleting the kth element from the end. Finally, we simply return head. Let's see if this works. Yes, and perfect. So guys, I hope you like the solution. Hit like, subscribe, and make sure you hit that bell as well so that you get the soothing notifications that Code Explained brings you. It's been Vivek, and I'll see you all next time.